Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is a project I created, Kylie's. Uh, this is a Kylie's project. Alright, so today I started out this clip with Harley Quinn. I am going up against a Morty here. I believe their player name is Real Moore. It uh, opens up here because it just happens to be the timing of the uh, PlayStation clipping. Um, they kind of up their game in this match. In the prior match, it was pretty interesting. This real more person was a good sport. They began to play with their toy car in the prior match, I'm saying. And they played with it until two minutes were left. <laughs> and they got a catch-up bonus. Um, I ended up winning that one, but they were good and uh, fun. Alright, but in this match, see, oh, they whipped out the toy car, they got hit by my jack-in-the-box, um, and then I boom boom bango kicked them off the edge. They kind of bounced off the Batman car on the side, which falls into the waterfall here. Uh, Alright, setting the trap in the smoke, and pop goes the weasel. Alright, <laughs> they are pretty good at dodging too, um, they got a good technique down, they throw the bombs out, they uh, throw their axes out, uh, I jump, I dodge, got them with the bat bomb, and I twirl away like a ballerina super high. Uh, I, I had an energy drink also earlier, so I am um, walking on air, as Katy Perry says, I am Walking, I'm walking on air. All right, and so you see the Morty here. They uh, activate some healing. It's nice, but um, it can be uh, seen and used by the opposition. I've noticed. We might be able to see it here. We might not. Uh, there <laughs> is kind of like a some might say a premature ejaculation but in this case it's more of a premature victory dance <laughs> and uh but then victory! i end up cornering them off the edge and i ascertain the victory there uh <laughs> emphasis on the ascertain maybe all right and they were such a good sport i had to give them a toast it was actually a little bit of a uh, gauntlet. Like, um, since my Harley Quinn is level 15 now, I guess, I ended up getting matched up with a bunch of higher level characters. I ended up ma getting matched up against higher level characters before this. And I was actually doing a daily mission for the winning a match Choose as a DC character. character. I went Harley Quinn today. You know, usually, like, before, my mind would jump to Wonder Woman. But as you can see, I completed that daily mission, and it got me to tier 37. Uh, which got me a Velma surprised. I originally planned to stop after completing the daily missions, right? As long as the match was not too heinous or something. But then it was like, uh, my LeBron James character reminded me. He was like, this is a dangerous looking sticker. <laughs> So, uh, I better, you know, carry it down the line a bit. And I was wondering, like, should I just go Harley Quinn here? But then I was like, uh, I might as well throw in a Rick. Earlier there was, like, uh, some unfinished business, possibly. And Rick might still be getting the king for a day uh, glow up at the moment. And then I ended up realizing, right, this Velma sticker fits really well with Don't Rick, who uh, is no stranger to the blowing of minds. I do, if I can say so myself, and I should in this case. Alright, so I ended up getting mashed up against a Garnet here by the name of Shooter, and they have some numbers in the back. They seem also good on Wonder Woman, they have a badge there. I ended up switching uh, my badge, I think it was like to a highest damage percent, uh, number, it was like 434, something like that. Alright, here we get into match. 
I also got some lemonade here. It was the last bit in the pitcher. <laughs> That's good. Oh. Alright, one versus one. First to get two ring outs wins. Uh, I start out with some basic uh, long range stuff. This Garnet kinda is not having that though. Oh yeah, and these were the last two sets of today probably that I'm gonna play. I'm like, uh, I was mostly here to clear out my missions. Today is kind of a rest day for me. And, uh, but I thought I should add some audio to this, and it seems it is an available option. Alright, so, throwing out the Meeseeks, <laughs> throwing out the laser gun beams, throwing out the pelvis, of course, boom, bang, bingo, and the Garnet is getting whacked a little bit. They, uh, do not know what to do with, against this, uh, projectile wall. Oh, but they come in. They come in through the side, like a, like a, um, hmm, like a spy in events, <laughs> like a Bruce Willis in a Die Hard maybe. Uh, let's see. All right, so I jump around. I use the ray gun. I open up my ski boots, and of course I gotta throw out the me six. The me six they are actually quite good, but. I guess it makes sense because they have a cooldown and you can get two at a time. I have not figured out yet how to use all the Mi6 moves. There seems to be like an up and a down flick move. They look like charge moves, but maybe the opponent will have to get caught up in them. I'm not too sure. There, see, it seemed to like try to attempt to hit the Garnet, but maybe the hitbox is not great. The uh, projectile throwing Mi6 seems to be quite effective still. There we go. Go, Meeseeks, go! Uh, throwing out the ray gun walls. And the Garnet is uh, adapting to it at this point. Alright. Which is, uh, it shows some character for this uh, shooter player. Alright. And I shall throw out some dash attacks. Throw out some plasma blades. It's such a cool looking move. Like, um,. I was really admiring it when I was first playing, mostly playing against Rix, because it took a little bit before I could unlock my Rick Sanchez. And then of course the rocket at the end is like uh, the cherry on the cake, or like the icing on the marble brownie, or like the cream on the de leche, you know, the um, uh, brioche on the cream as they say. See, this was kind of cool. I set up like a symmetrical Meeseeks thing and they could, did kind of like a dance, you know. If anything, it'll mess with this Garnet's head a bit. They're like, wow, that's no, kind of no, beautiful. No, no. But <laughs> uh, they, of course, uh, want to be the belle of the ball themselves and they smash me upwards. I uh, get wrung out from the top of the map. I continue with the Victory! strategy. And oh yeah, here's where I throw out the Velma Mind Blown sticker, <laughs> followed by a moon. Uh, maybe the moon was too much, but it's possible uh, I did not want to have it be too little. And so, I think Shooter actually took it in good effect. Choose your they were uh, in compliance with the correlation of Rick and Velma Mind Blowers. <laughs> and they ended up switching a character here. Some people do this. Um, the reasoning is usually like they want to win. A lot of the times they get mad. You can like feel it here. In this case, this person, uh, they wanted to crush me. <laughs> I, I do believe that is what happened here. And they just happened to think a Wonder Woman was their chance to, uh, to do that. Yeah. <sighs> Let us uh, see, let us spectate. I am also spectating this as I attempt to uh, cast for you. So I am uh, excited. Café de Leche. I had some tiramisu prior, like uh, over the weekend. So that is a little bit of the café that I am uh, speaking of. And of course, earlier I mentioned the energy drink. It's kind of correlated. Not really though, actually, when I think about it. All right, but here I go, throwing out the pelvis. Uh, you can see Rick's dodge has a like a afterglow to it, like a shimmer shock. 
It's like a phase. Uh, Rick has like a phaser. And it seems to <laughs> throw out this, uh, this aftershade. Similar to like the Flash. It's kind of cool. Like I've noticed sometimes, uh, it happens in life too. It's like, uh, you know, a visible Doppler effect, one might say. And uh, yeah, like you can train yourself to do it, or you can pick it up somewhere. Alright, um, let's see... Oh, I was <laughs> throwing out the seed because like, it's such an interesting move. Um, I remember I was throwing out the seed and the pelvic thrust because those seem to be like some pretty strong uh, KO moves. There's the pelvic thrust I was talking about, followed by a dash attack. It was pretty straight on combo. Uh, the Wonder Woman actually... It's like they almost like were lusting after my rocket. You know, the way they just slammed right into it. And... Alright, uh, with the energy whip, and followed by the pelvic thrust, and more beams. I was a little warmed up on Rick at this point. Maybe this person, um was trying to exploit me somehow. Oh, dare did I get like caster curse myself? <laughs> uh, I fired the beam in the wrong direction. It happens sometimes, not only with uh, beam shots. Oh, there you can see it was a cool move. The Wonder Woman kind of like got portal guns over there and they got all turned around. You can see their mind got like, a little twisted. And they were like, what? And I got an easy KO off of that. Easier, I would say. In the moment, like I might not have noticed. Uh, followed by the energy whip and the pelvic thrust, some me6 going out. Oh yeah, jumping in the air with the gun now. And then, let's see what the Wonder Woman is doing a bit. Alright, they're uh, dash attacking, they're punching, they're uh, slicing, they're jumping, they're attempting to throw out some damage, I guess. Uh, they seem to be a little focused, but they're not able to. I've been uh, gotten pretty good at dodging. Um, I've noticed, like, my dodging progression has uh, increased, and that is good. Uh, I shall drink some lemonade to that. Oh yeah, some pelvic thrusting also. Mm. Alright, let's see, and then the Wonder Woman ends up getting a uh, down spike on me, throwing me upward. They seem to like those, uh, or at least so far, in the matches that I played with them. They ring out people from the top. Oh wait, that was the Morty from earlier. Interesting. Uh, something I noticed. Different people though. Uh, pelvic thrust, some rockets. Let's see. Here comes a Mises. Uh, I was... Let's see. I seem to accelerate a little bit. I'm not sure if it is the effect of playing casuals, right? It kind of like rubs off on you. Like after a ring out, or... Sometimes it ha happens to be the inverse, like after someone gets a ring out, like they seem to start going a little different, um, maybe a little more frazzled, or a little more rabid, someone's a little more wild, so let's say wild, right? It could be positive also. Alright, here comes some Meeseeks. They ended up uh, going with the shield, right? It's almost as if they sensed like the presence of... Uh, a specific tactic. They sensed that, like, uh, and I began to wonder also, is that the reason they actually picked Wonder Woman? Because they wanted to shield against these projectiles I was throwing out. And, um, I'm not sure. Maybe it was I ended up pelvic thrusting them to death and, uh, throwing in the moon. I had to throw in the 100% because it <laughs> they were a little vicious, actually. Like, there was bloodlust in their actions. It is also why here I did not end up toasting them. I toasted the Morty earlier. I usually toast people who like at least overtly deserve it in a positive light. <laughs> and here that is about the end of this clip. So uh, have a good day viewers and bye!